Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are gonna do a Valentine's Day get ready with me. So if you want to see that, please keep on watching. Morning guys, in today's video, we are gonna do a get ready with me Valentine's Day style. So I'm gonna do all my makeup with you and let's start by applying a bit of sunscreen because I want to use this one as my primer as well. This is the Severe Blurring uh, SPF and I'm trying to get some of it out. I am almost done with this one, but I already have a backup because I really like it. And I found that this sunscreen is the perfect base for the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. So we are going to use that today as well. I did let the SPF sink in a bit. Let's apply the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm wearing the shade number two. Yeah. And I'm always applying a bit of the foundation and then blending out with my finger and then use the sponge and blend it even more. And do you have plans? for Valentine's Day. I'm filming this in advance because I don't think I can film and upload in the same day, but I think we are gonna go out on the 13th because it's Sunday. And I think we are gonna do a double date with my best friend and her boyfriend. And I think that will be very fun. I just wanted to have a video with a Valentine's Day look, but I'm wearing Valentine's Day makeup almost every day because I created the February palette and it's very pinky purplish. And for today's video, we are gonna use the Mercury palette, the Nabla Cutie palette in Wildberry to go with it. I'm applying concealer now. I'm mixing the e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour camo concealer, the shade Light Sand, with a bit of Born This Way concealer, the Too Faced one, which is in Butterscotch. I'm just putting a dot because the Elf concealer is just a tiny bit too light. And I will apply it in here and blend it with my sponge. Okay, let's apply a bit of powder. I put a bit of the the Beauty Easy Bake powder on the cap and I'm using the sponge. I'm putting just a bit more to catch any fallout because we are gonna do the brows and eyeshadows next and I will apply some pressed powder after and blush bronzer and highlighter after as well. Okay, let's do brows right now. I bought this MAC Velux Brow Liner and is the shade Deep Brunette. Uh, I like the formula. I did test this two more times. And I like the formula, but the color is a bit too dark for me. In the store, I did swatch one shade. And then I thought the, the lady <laughs> in the store did uh, get me the same shade, but Maybe she got me the darkest shade. I don't have any idea, but I could make this work so it's totally fine. I just need to be light-handed and then blend it a bit. I'm applying the NYX Brow Glue uh, and this shade is kind of reddish from the MAC pencil. Man, I'm trying to find a better pencil than the NYX one, but I'm kind of failing. I'm applying the Benefit 24 Hours brow setter right now. And I'm very excited. I'm waiting for my Gloss Gods order. I did order the Gal on the Moon palette. And sadly, I didn't see on the site that, because it's not on the site, that it's coming with the postal service. Oh. When I saw that they are shipping with the postal service, I 
almost wanted to cry. Uh, in Romania, the postal service is horrible. I just hope that I will be able to get my package in the next couple of days. And yeah, but I'm using the Natasha Dinuna. I should apply more. I hope I could get the palette soon because I'm very excited and curious to test it. But yeah, I really try to avoid the postal service if possible. That's the reason that I'm not gonna order from Wooden's Eye, for example, because no. And I'm planning to order from Little as well. And for Little as well, I could just use the postal service, but I much prefer to pay a bit more and use the express shipping and just deliver it faster and not use the postal service. I'm very happy that I could order from Cal Beauty and Beauty Bay and it's not using the postal service. So uh, let's talk about the eyeshadows. We are gonna use the Huda Beauty Mercury and I'm trying to show you the shades and I'm kind of failing. So I'm gonna start with this brush and off balance in here. Yeah, so anyway, I'm waiting for that order and I'm very excited to test Gloss Gods and the palette and formula and everything. And then I really want to order more little shadows. And uh, I want to order the tool from Little as well. They have a du dual ended tool for uh, depoting eyeshadows and that will be great to have. So I will order that as well. And I want to try the multi-chrome formula as well. So I'm gonna do that. I want to intensify the look with this Venom shade from the Nabla Cutie Palette. I'm searching for a brush. Brush, brush, brush. Let's use this one. This one is from the Sigma Untamed Palette. And I'm taking this edge. And just placing it in here. My boyfriend is calling me. Let's see how long it takes him to come here and realize that I'm filming. <laughs> oh, he's calling me. <laughs> and I'm putting this shade on the lower lash as well. Okay, and let's blend the lower lash with this Kiehl's brush. It has a small point and I'm using the same brush. The same shade, I mean. Let's take this brush and I will use the Super Moon shade. And I want just to add on the brow bone. Oh god, that's a lot. I just want to blend a bit. That could be fun. I will put a test shade in there. And we are gonna do a shimmer and just put it along. And the shimmer that we are gonna put on the lid will blend into this one. I think that could be fun. So I'm putting a lot of this shade on the brow bone. As you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just <laughs> use a bunch of shades. Look at this. <laughs> it's, I just love this shade. It's very special. And I'm taking a clean fluffy brush. It's the other edge from the Sigma palette. And I'm just blending the corner in here. Let's apply with this brush a bit of this vortex shade. I did want to see what my boyfriend wanted and he wanted to show me a game. I didn't see it, but I will. A game that it has a beautiful view in the in the game, and I usually like seeing how the creators decide to create the world and everything. Let's choose some shimmery shades from here. I want to use this supernova shade, and maybe we are gonna build it on top with a shimmery from here. Let's see how that one with rude. Let's see how that one with Alchemy 2.0 looks. I'm gonna apply this super nova shade with my finger and then I'm gonna use a bit of um, of um, glitter primer and I'm applying like I said this shade into the crease and into the brow bone. Just a bit of pigment primer. Oh, that's so beautiful and now it matches the raw bone shade even better. Let's look closer a bit. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. I, I love shimmer shades. I'm gonna just apply the darkest shade just a bit in here. And for the inner corner, I'm just applying a bit of that brow bone shade. Okay, I'm doing a wing right now. Okay, the wings are down. I have this talent to do this wing very beautifully and then do the left eye very horribly. So I need to match them and they are both ugly afterwards. Could I just do one wing on my right eye and be done? And then just paste it on the other eye? Can I do that? That would be great. I'm applying the Maybelline High Sky Mascara. Let's apply some mascara on the lower lashes as well. I did apply a black pencil on the upper waterline and the purple on the bottom waterline. I always do that. Just a colorful liner on the lower waterline and the black on top. And I'm waiting for my lashes, for my glue to get tacky a bit. And I'm using the Cupio lashes. I think this is the style butterfly. I'll put everything in the description box. Take a sip of coffee as well. And I usually let them uh, dry for one minute. The glue, not them. Let's apply the lashes. I just tilt my head a bit and then try to put the lash how close of the lash line possible. And then I'm just waiting a tiny bit for the lash to get stuck to my skin. And then I'm just using the tweezers and squishing my own lashes with the falsies. And that's it with the lashes. It's pretty easy after you tried a million times. Practice makes perfect. And uh, I'm hoping with the liners I'll be the same. I uh, don't usually wear liners, even though I know that it looks better with makeup and everything, but I'm lazy usually. And they sometimes could ruin my makeup if I'm doing these kind of wings, <laughs> but it's fine. So the glue is tacky on this lash, tilting my head. I don't know, oh, you can't see anything. So <laughs> I hope you saw the first eye, but I'm tilting my head a bit and just easing the lash down. And the lash is getting stuck to the tweezers sometimes. On this I much prefer using my fingers because I'm right-handed. Okay then, so eyes are done. Let's remove this excess powder and any fallout. And I'm taking this brush and the Fit Me powder by Maybelline. And I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of this on the outer edge. But not a lot because I know that I'm going to use a cream bronzer and I don't have any idea why I'm applying powder first. But it's fine, I'm using the cream bronzer from Milk. And this brush, which is from BH, I love it so much for cream products. Let's apply some high glass powder as well. I'm not going to show this product either because you didn't see the update yet. I think I'm gonna put this video first because it's Valentine's Day, but I already filmed the update. That's it with the high gloss. I'm taking now the Pixi Vitamin C blush and we are gonna put it right here. I really like this blush, it's so stunning. The shimmery, let's apply it a bit on the nose as well. Just blending out a tiny bit with the sponge to melt the products into each other. Then for highlighter, I'm using another project pen, the Wet n Wild highlighter. Okay, and last thing, lips. Finally, my Vive lip pencil came in the mail. Uh, I did order this one with the Shirley Tilbury, so I'm not breaking my low buy, but they didn't deliver me the lip pencil. 
so I got it like two days ago, but the customer service from Cult Beauty was really awesome. They just sent me the pencil and it was great. So now I do have it, which is awesome. So this is the liner. I really like it. It's creamy, but not very creamy. And it's like a matte formula. I really like it. And I'm gonna apply the Abu Dhabi shade from NYX in the soft matte formula on top. That was too brown, so let's apply this shade. It's called Cans, and let's see how that is looking. Okay, this is way better, but I don't think the brown pencil from Viv is the best lip liner for this shade, but it's fine. I blended them together and they look great. Okay, so this is the final look, and the skin looks just amazing. I really love the skin the most, I think. I like how this shimmery shade is blending into the brow bone. I really like that as well. Very blending brow bone shade. So this was everything. If you like it and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.